to the R to the E to the E to the S for L I M E. Oh, 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 oh. Trees are really powerful. In our hectic urban world, they are these big beautiful things that are on a totally different time scale. Many of them were here when we were born and will live on well after we die. Trees for Life is about planting trees to change the place where we live, to heal our communities, to connect to the earth, and to bring about new life. Violence in Oakland is something that it's just, it's gotten to the point where it's kind of like, no reason. I've lost a lot of friends to this genocidal tribalism, back and forth violence. I have lost friends. I have seen people get killed in front of me. I have seen drive-by shootings. Our first Trees for Life workshop was in Mossville Park, where you can find some of the oldest trees in the city. We started off by honoring the land through song with Luta Candelaria of the Rumson Ohlone people. We heard from our elders, Belvi Rooks and Didon Gills, who inspired the Trees for Life project through their own project called Growing a Global Heart. It was just very encouraging to hear Belvi's story about going to Africa, and it was very emotional for her. And knowing the reason why the program kind of got started also makes it more meaningful to participate in. We had been really wanting to do more ceremonial and ritual tree planting in urban areas focused on helping combat youth violence as well as honor young people who had died as a result of urban violence. Planting a tree is a way to not only honor and acknowledge what's happening, but bring new life to the neighborhood and slowly begin to shift the environment to create a healthier community, which would then lead to less violence and more peace and more unity. Ziamara Castro from Urban Peace Movement talked to us about the causes of urban violence and how we can be a part of a shift towards a culture of peace. The reason why I wanted to get with the Trees for Life program was to learn something different and bond with nature and I felt like that can humble someone's soul from seeing so many negative pictures and if you want positive pictures in your life, you should paint one. We did a lot of workshops with Gregory Tarver. He taught us a lot about just the way trees function, the way trees grow, how to care for a tree, the process of a tree growing. What's another one, not group two? Uh, it improves the ecosystem. I think what's unique about the Trees for Life program is that we integrate a lot of different things that are very important to urban communities. So we have violence prevention, we're talking about environmental justice, and young adults are learning practical, hands-on science and natural sciences. They actually are doing this stuff in the field through projects, creating change. Our final project was to plant trees at Jungle Hill, which is a community park in East Oakland that was founded by members of the neighborhood in the 1970s. The park has had its ups and downs, and Trees for Life had a real opportunity to make a positive impact there. As we begin this solemn, yet joyful tree planting ceremony, let us take pause to remember with gratitude all those who have come before us. I think I spend in my definition of what a community is. Being part of this project definitely made me look outside my home to my neighbors who came from all parts of Bay Area. The Trees for Life internship was the biggest personal beneficial internship out of all of my internships I've been in. We created a memorial of all of those who passed away to do violence in Oakland, and I think that in itself is honorable. I'm the desert oasis, the cure for dehydration. I'm libation, let the spirits awaken. I am the bay, I bring mirror like the lake, man. I think I can change, let me get a good job and then I'll change my last name. Yes, I know it's all about survival and you can take a boy from his tribe but you can't take away his tribal. Here I am still holding on. With every step you climb another mountain. Plant a tree, plant a tree, plant a tree.
but I started writing again after doing Trees for Life because some, a lot of the youth are, youth are into poems and um, a spoken word. So I started practicing it now, and now I teach it to my students. Tree planting builds community. When you get young people to get dirty with each other, and eat lunch together, and just the act of working together creates community. And it's, um, it's a real powerful experience. Morning glow, prelude to flight, moving shadows, dazzling light, insect array, melodic sound, wandering roots, fertile ground, dying leaf, tender bud, sun parched earth, winter mud. T to the R to the E to the E to the S for L I N.